I would say when it comes to crypto, Rao Paul's been pretty damn spot on. So when I look at his information, like um, I see, you know, good stuff. So like, hey, you know, um, definitely worth listening to. So, um, you know, I've definitely subscribed to the Real Vision podcast and stuff like that. Definitely some good stuff there. Um, but he says uh, the macro guru, Rao Paul, I love how they give people titles like that, um, says risk assets are very bullish this year with crypto markets popping out of the water. Right. And so let's take a quick read of this because I do think, you know, uh, it's worth uh, taking a look at. So um, he says the changing macroeconomic backdrop backdrop makes him very bullish on risk assets like crypto. So he's talking about risk on assets, um, stuff like uh, equities as well as crypto. In a new Real Vision finance video, the former Goldman Sachs executive says that a de uh, declaration of F the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes could excuse me, could serve as a tailwind for both traditional and crypto markets. So last year, the Fed's crusade to combat inflation led to four consecutive 75 uh, base, uh, percent uh, basis rate hikes, uh, rate increases um, before the central bank slowed it down to 50 basis points in December. Um, Powell says, I'm actually very bullish. Now the recovery from a bear market either comes in two, one of two ways. It comes up and corrects and then eventually goes uh, or it becomes sharper and it is a little bit vague here so this is sometimes you do notice this from people who i think give information to uh you know like millions and millions of people which Ralph paul definitely does um they tend to add something in there that's just like okay you could kind of take that anyway so um but anyways um you know he's kind of looking here at the market kind of coming up and correcting obviously needing to hold support um to continue that trend um but it depends on the central banking action, liquidity, and that kind of stuff. And I actually will show you guys here in a minute a little bit of data on where liquidity is in the crypto market. You might be surprised based on the, what we've had the last few weeks. Um, but, if you, but if I look forward, he says, I'm very bullish because we've gone through the rate cycle. Um, so that's out of the way. So that's interesting. What does he mean by that? Uh, it's the rate of change that matters. The rate of change comes down first and then sticks. So that's good for risk assets. So uh, essentially, as they slow down the, the uh, interest rate hikes, right? Um, that's basically the turning point. Some people are waiting for the pause itself or in, uh, or back turning on the money printers. It's not those actions, right, which cause you to be bullish. It's the slowing down uh, of the trend, right? That basically starts turning the market. So, uh, and usually people don't notice that change in the market until it's too late, until we're at the top of that trend. So um, that's why information like this is quite useful. Um, but with inflation starting to ease its grip on the economy, uh, Powell predicts the rate of change will continue to decelerate uh, in terms of uh, the CPI and inflation itself, right? Um, that's already coming down based on how they're calculating numbers for 2023. Like we're going to go down in the next... Uh, few CPI, uh, uh, what do you call it? CPI number discussions or releases, right? Um, during that period of time, uh, the market will most likely go down. Um, or sorry, not the market will most likely go down. The CPI, the inflation rate will mo most likely continue to go down quite substantially. Um, but a, a lot of the distraction is that inflation uh, weight is less and therefore the rate of change uh, of the interest rate increases. Uh, the Fed uh, rate increases, the Fed are, are making it pretty clear um, that they're probably going to get a 25 basis point increase. Uh, I think he's talking about February. In the global macro, it's the rate of change that matters more than anything else, not the absolutes. If the rate of change changes, all these beach balls start popping out of the water that have been held down by the heavy weight of interest rates, uh, rate raises, and that rate of change, that's all gone. So suddenly emerging markets go up, gold goes up, crypto goes up, and equities go up. Everybody's happy you know, who decided to get into the market. Everybody who has stayed out of the market for the last year, right? Uh, they are probably not the happiest of people and they're probably going to um, stay out of the market for 2023 as well, for the most part. They might end up buying some tops. Um, but yeah, this is again, right? Where you have to have those strong convictions held loosely. So the, the, the pattern that we got going, right? Was definitely a strong one in 22, but now we're starting to sh see that pattern change and this is just another angle 